around two, 2009, sports teams were texting their fans and that was like unbelievable. So then I thought of, you know, all my friends in higher ed yeah, have a real struggle to communicate with their constituents too. I don't see a reason why this wouldn't work there. It turned out to be right. First version of, of our platform was only being used by a handful of schools. Champlain College was one of them. Yeah. Amber was an undergrad transfer, and then you were my client. Yes. So when I started working in the graduate admissions office, um, I was like, you guys, undergrad is texting. We really need to be texting. The VP for enrollment, who is a friend of mine, said, you should hire Amber. And like, I did. So it wasn't a poaching thing. <laughs> yeah. Some people were like, why should I text? Students will come to me. Back then, they had to get their head around this. Like, we didn't even call it a texting platform. We're just like, we have this software that you need to see. So you can text. And they'd be like, what? Is it a big phone? Like, you remember our clients saying that they would have to wait outside of classes yes. to grab the student <laughs> yeah. to talk to them about yeah. something. On their own, right? Using their own personal phones. Some schools. It's just trying to figure out, the creative ones trying to figure out what they could do without having a piece of software to help them. Yeah, yeah. It, it was ironic that the most progressive schools were using their cell phones to text because a platform to use didn't exist. I remember viewing it from the lens as a former recruiter thinking, man, I wish I had this software to send text confirmations to recruits coming to learn about a potential job opportunity. And it made a lot of sense. And our clients have just done, all we did was give them the tools and give them the love and they made it work and they, they we owe, we owe them a lot and um, we had to work with some pretty fantastic clients. Mm -hmm.